Hey Collective, welcome to my channel, Divinely True Tarot. I am your reader, Renetta, and we are going to go ahead and do a timeline reading, okay? Um, this is a new reading that I have um, been playing with, and um, I really, really like the messages that come out. So we're going to pick the time that um, a message, or I shall say a timeline message from the Most High, okay? All right, so I already prayed over the cards, so we're just going to hop right on in, okay? Please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, okay? All right, let's go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give us a timeline. What timeline are we tapping into? The timeline are we tapping into? Let's get three. One, two, thank you. Let's get one more. <laughs> Three, okay. These, this is just way too many. We ain't doing that. All right, so something's happening in January or something happened in January. This could be this past January or January that's coming up. Okay. So, the bottom of the deck is January. So, we're going to see what happened in January. But here we have spring within three months on a Friday. Okay? So, let's see what's happening in spring within three months. We are in March at the current moment. So, whenever you see this video, it could be the next spring or it could happen... Okay, they heard. Okay, they tell me it's the next spring. If it's not this spring, it's the next spring. Okay, so let's see what's happening in spring. Let's see what's happening in three months. Let's see what's happening on Friday. Okay, all right. Let's see. Um, Holy Spirit, what is happening in spring? What can you tell me? What's happening in the springtime? Please and thank you. Let's get one of these. We have indigo. What's happening in three months? Thank you. We have listened to your intuitive feelings. And what's happening on Friday? I'll take it. We have throat chakras. So somebody needs to speak up or talk about something. And then we have God box. And it says, any worries, concerns, or desires. Wait, excuse me. Write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put in a special container called the God Box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So if you have having some type of issue, okay, with a person, place, or thing, write it down, put it in the box, give it to God, and let it go, okay? Especially if you have something to say to somebody on a Friday. This is making me feel like a discussion or an argument could happen, but, you know, um... And this is where you probably have to do <laughs> create that God box and put put whatever it is that your concerns, your your hurts, your worries, your cares, your fears in that box and give it over to God. Yes, listen to your intuition, okay? Your intuitive feelings. It says your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. This is happening within three months, okay? So we're going to see what those messages are. And then we have um, indigo. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. Okay, so you could be having this discussion with an indigo, or somebody could be having a discussion with you and your indigo, okay, in the springtime. So we're going to see what this, this what is happening with this indigo in the spring. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's see what is happening. Let's get these. Holy Spirit, what is happening in the springtime? Okay, thank you. We have courtship and main female. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we have false person. So either some of you guys could be dating a main female or dating a feminine energy that is showing up as a false person. And by you being an indigo child, you're going to really come into your, your senses is what I'm getting in the springtime. It's going to be something revealed about this, this, this main female that you're dating that's showing up as a false person, okay? So we're going to get into that and see what that is. Holy Spirit, let's go ahead and get it right now. What is what is what about this false person? What's going on with this false person that's going to that's happening around the springtime or something that's going to come out 
in the springtime about this false person. Excuse my radio, but let's see. Um, let's get these. No, that's not the not one thing. What's happening? Okay, let's see. Holy Spirit, what is happening? What about what is it about this false person? What can you tell me about this false person that somebody is dating or courting? Some of you guys could be trying to get into a connection. We have peace, okay, and heart fault. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You could have been in the energy of, you know, really not knowing how you feel about this person, okay? But some truth about this person that's showing up false is going to bring you peace. Peace in your heart, peace in your mind. The truth is coming out. What is this truth? Let's go ahead and get it. Let's get it. What is this truth that's coming out about this false person? Let's see. That they are motherfucking Jezebel with no strings attached. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I must say. Now, this could be... A, um. This could be somebody that you're dating or somebody that um is around you that is that that they're dating. Okay? This could be a, 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 a one of your children. This could be a sister or a cousin or something like that. Okay? But somebody is dating somebody who is a Je Jezebel and that's their main female. Collective, this could be something about your masculine. Okay? And you pick this up because you're highly sensitive or your person is finding this out about somebody that they're dating. Uh-huh. They're releasing the boundaries. They're letting it go. They're letting it go. They're putting up boundaries against this false person and they're releasing them. This could be you or your person. Mm-hmm. Damn. But what about this Jezebel? What can you tell me? That's a false person. This main female that somebody is dating. It could be a same-sex relationship too. Okay. It'll be two feminine energies that's dating each other and they finding out one of them is false as fuck and they getting released. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Why? Because karma's here. So, uh-huh. <laughs> Broken. Yeah. Okay, so somebody broke this connection because of this false person that they're dating. Yeah. Yep, there's no escaping from this karma that's here. Yeah, because they broke the connection with you. This Jezebel, this false person, this main feminine energy here. That had no strings attached. Some of them is trying to break away from this person, but they can't escape from this, uh huh, because this false person don't want your person to leave them. This is what I'm getting. This is making me feel like collective. This is this is happening outside of you. This is happening to your person or your children that's going through this with this feminine false person energy. The truth is going to come out in the springtime about this one right here. Wow. Okay. So what, what is the truth? I'm telling you the truth. The truth is coming out. Karma is here. What is this truth that's coming out? What is the truth? Let's see. What is the truth? Let's get a little baby. What's the truth? What is the truth about this false person? That like they're jealous? They jealous of you? They jealous of the connection? Something like that? What else can you tell me about this false person? What is the truth about this false person? Aries, Gemini, energy. So we have lovers, emperor, energy. So they jealous at the fact that your emperor is turning around and coming back towards you. Or this masculine energy is leaving them to come towards you. Is This is what I'm getting. Male to female. Yeah. So this, 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 this is feeling like a side chick that's jealous of you, collective. Or, yeah, a side chick jealous of you because your masculine is turning it back around to come towards you. Wow, you turn and quit third party. I can't make this up. You turn, quit third party. Damn. They they pissed the fuck off. Because your person chose you. Mm, mm, mm. But this Jezebel didn't want no strings attached. Okay, they didn't have no strings attached with this Jezebel, so they letting that ass go. This is going down in the springtime, baby. Shit, within three months for some of you guys. You know this, listening to your intuitive feelings. Mm, mm, mm. What can you tell me about what's happening in three months? What can you tell me? What else can you tell me about what's happening in three months? What's happening? Let 
Thank you. We have unexpected income at courthouse. Okay, so some of you guys could be unexpectedly having to show up in court. This is for some of you guys or some of you guys, if you already have a court case, like a lawsuit or, you know, something of the sort, uh, some type of um, child support issue or something like that, um, you're going to you're going to get some type of unexpected money from that. So for some of you guys, you probably don't think that you're going to get what you are old or do. But it's going to come, but it's not going to come in the time that you expect, okay? It could be within three months, so it's making me feel like it's coming sooner than later. And it's going to be unexpected, especially if it's having to deal with some type of um, child support case. This also, too, could be a divorce because we have family room lovers and change. So, you know, if you're expecting some type of um, income from, like, a sale of a property or alimony or something like that, um, it's going to come within three months, Um but it's not going to be the amount that you expect to get out of this court case or this court issue. Okay. All right. So, um, what can you tell me about this? And this is also to justice, the court case. Thank you for the confirmation. This is also to spiritual court. So, you know, you could be getting some type of insight or something, um, some type of, I'm going to say, um, ruling to work out in your favor in spiritual court as well okay but let's see since we have unexpected income what can you tell me about this unexpected income we have strategy when i picked up the deck the okay? crack so somebody they they <laughs> i heard they laid the perfect plan or they had the perfect idea or they had the perfect plan something like that yeah strategy and illumination a strategy and illumination yeah somebody got themselves out of some type of predicament here let's see Let's see. What can you tell me about this unexpected income, Holy Spirit? That's coming within the next three months. I heard a ruling in your favor. I heard probate court. Okay. I also heard, heard um, accident settlement. Accident settlement. Accident settlement. Yeah, somebody getting a settlement within the next three months. Okay, what can you tell me about this unexpected income? So this is some money that's going to be handed over that you didn't expect collected within the next three months. And it's going to come from the courts or the higher ups in the spirit realm. Okay. What can you tell you about this unexpected income? Thank you. We have harmony. <laughs> it's going to bring peace and harmony and balance within to yourself. Okay. So also too, some of you guys are going to be at peace about a ruling that's coming in. Okay. Peace of mind is what I'm hearing. And it says, it's important for you to have quiet, peaceful work atmosphere in order for you to thrive. Working at home or for yourself is best. So some of you guys, you could be starting to work at home. Okay, because you got this unexpected money that you could start your business or you could quit your job to work from home full time. Ooh, child, yes. Uh-huh, ending at the bottom of the deck, in the flow. Yeah, some of you guys are going to be presented with enough money to fucking quit your job and work from home. Damn. How I how can I be down? Okay. Oh, ooh, Jesus Christ. That's beautiful. What else can you tell me about this unexpected income? What can you tell me about this ending? What is this ending going to bring? Holy Spirit. What is this ending going to bring? It says you may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. You may change careers entirely. That's what I'm saying. Some of you guys, y'all probably quitting y'all nine to five, hopefully not getting fired. But with this harmony right here in the flow, I don't feel like it's a firing. I'm feeling like it's like all of a sudden you could you could you could step out, you could quit, you could hey, you could retire because you have this unexpected income coming in. Okay. Adventure. Start a new adventure in life. Some of you guys could go back to school. Yeah, education and wealth. Some of you guys going to have to educate yourself about handling wealth, about um, operating in wealth. I mean, higher tax bracket, something like that. Yeah, outside forces is making it happen. This is a surprise. This is like a windfall here. That's going to be happening within the next three months. Some of you guys are a ruling in your favor. Wow. And this is the higher ups, outside forces. Higher ups is unfolding this future, future abundance, future wealth. And they're protecting it. 
some of you guys, you're going to be happy that you could end this or happy about an ending or something is finally over. You could go on your own way, something like that, okay? But this unexpected income is bringing wealth. This could be uh, a new idea, I'm what, is what I'm getting, or some type of new education that you're, or knowledge, thank you, Holy Spirit, knowledge that you're going to um, acquire that's going to help you be able to bring in this wealth. And this is money, baby. This is money. It says you're working towards real, real work. Uh, excuse me. You're working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life. Keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning, education. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm saying. You know, you're planning for the future and you're educating yourself about how to handle unexpected money. How to, It's almost like you're, you're in one tax bracket and one day and the next day you're in another tax bracket. And you got to educate yourself on how to handle that, how to, um, you know, maneuver in that new found wealth, this new money that you have coming in. It's almost like hitting the lottery. So now you got to learn how to operate as a millionaire instead of a thousandaire. Okay. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Wish granted, baby. Secret accounts. Oh, my God. So, I mean, you know, you, you shit. You might have to put some of this money in secret accounts so, you know, everybody don't know where you shit at. <laughs> where your where your money, where your wealth is at. I mean, this is for some of you guys. I'm just I must say. I must say. What else can you tell me about this? I want to see. What can you tell me about this wealth, Holy Spirit? What can you tell me about this wealth energy? Wealth of education. Also, two downloads is just gonna be popping off, okay? That th that crown chakra is litty. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this. Look at that light over that crown chakra. This is a whole lot of downloads, okay? That's going to be bring a whole lot of balance into your energy, into your life, into your space, into your home, into your bank account, into your money, your finances here. Uh-huh. What can you tell me about this wealth, though? <laughs> we have Eight of Cups and the King of Wands. So by you walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, and you taking action, to move forward towards your passions and your desires. This King of Wands energy, I mean, look, he ready to go. You know, walked away from the bullshit. Now you're ready to move forward in your life, okay? Here we have the star energy, healing, as above, so below. This is balance between your, your head and your heart here. And now you're able to move forward. Yeah. Somebody want to come in on reckless and shit because they see that you're the star or they see that you're elevating. This is for some of you guys. This is the person that you walked away from. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, it could be an Aquarius. But heavy um, fire sign here. This is for some of you guys. And it's because, look, you walked away from them. Here they want. Here they come, want to rush in all passionately, passionately and things like that because they see your worth. They see your wealth. They see your glow up. They see your blow up. Careful, this happening within the next three months. What else can you tell me about this wealth? When you walked away from this person, it brought you a wealth of harmony, peace, understanding. And now you was able to open yourself up to new adventures and ideas in life. Okay? Some of you guys are living your best life. Ten of Cups. Now that you don't walked away from that person and put an ending to that. Okay? Especially if it's happening within three months. Yeah. We had a three of Pentacles and a seven of Pentacles. This is why this person want to come back around because they see your worth. They see your wealth. Now they want to come and they want to collaborate and create with you. You already got seven pinnacles here. You was waiting for this person to come in collaboration with you. This is for some of you guys. Or you could have been waiting for your person. The person that you were, you were going to um, grow with, build with, create a future with. Ten of Cups. A family dynamic with. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's like it's finally coming. It's finally happening. And it, we had the seven of pentacles and the three of pentacles. That's the ten of pentacles. Some of you guys are meeting your person that you can invest in. That you can build with. Okay? 
But you've been waiting for this person, especially if they're a fire sign. And here they come, unexpectedly. They're just going to pop up on your doorstep one day or pop up at the same store as you one day or something like that. Beautiful. I like that, okay? All right, so what can you tell me about this throat chakra? It says the angels are helping you speak lovingly your truth, okay? So um, for some of you guys, you probably have to speak life into yourself or into a situation here. Stop being so pessimistic, okay? Outside forces is helping you to unfold your natural beauty, your natural self here, okay? I love that. It says unknown forces are driving the situation. You may not be able to control the outcome. The cycle will shift soon and you will be okay. It's something that you got to speak. So um, it's almost making me feel like Archangel Gabriel is guiding you to speak up or speak out about something that is really going to change the course or the direction of your life that is going in currently. Okay, something that you have to say. Also, too, uh, some of you guys are manifestors and so you have to speak that you can speak things into existence so you have to change the way you speak to yourself speak about a person speak about a thing something like that okay because you out here spelling what can you tell me about this throat chakra what is what is being said what needs to be said what is going to be said message of concern about a house okay somebody could be concerned about where they live where they stay family room and lovers yeah somebody gonna speak up about where they want to be this is what i'm getting okay yeah journey yep 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 and great fortune and thoughts yeah somebody want to come back somebody want to come back towards you after things had ended with you okay and it's because they see your worth they see your wealth here and they want to speak up some of you guys could be um talking to somebody that you close the cycle out with, with this ending because they can't stop thinking about you. And I will say outside forces is driving you two together to have this conversation and hash this shit out. Okay? And there's a message of concern about some type of house or living situation here. Some type of family dynamic here. What is this concern? Holy Spirit. What is the concern? Please and thank you. Holding back. Okay, somebody is concerned that they held back too much or too long and they broke the connection with you or this person is broken because you're holding back from them and this is a concern to them. It says, I should have expressed myself better. This is what your person should have done. They should have spoke up about it. They are, they are within the next three months on a Friday in the springtime this year. Okay, yeah, <laughs> broken commitment. Okay, they should have spoke up about how they held back from this commitment and how they broke the commitment with you because they was operating in their shadow side of self. This is what they want to talk about. Okay, this is what they want to talk about. They want to talk about having this new chapter with you. They want a new chapter with you. They're trying to move on from something or someone, a lover situation. They could have had a, a home or built a home or had another family with but they want to come and talk about it because they want to break away from it because they don't want to be there no more. They want to come back to you and they want to come back to you because they see your worth. Thank you for the confirmation. They see your wealth. You over here living your best life. And now they want to drag their ass and bring their ass back to you collective because they found out that this third party floozy ass Jezebel was a fucking false person, jealous, broken, liar, and here come karma because they started fucking with them. What else they want to talk about? What else is this concern? Oh, I'll put that back in the deck. I didn't mean to put that back in the deck. I meant to leave it on the table. But what else is this concern? Yeah, they're concerned about having this reunion with you. Okay, they over here reminiscing about all the joy and happiness that they had with you. Okay, they want to reunite and grow old with you now. Honey boom. Why? Because they love the journey that you have taken towards healing. Towards loving yourself. Towards blowing up and coming up and growing up. Why are they concerned though? Because you have a lot of faith in your most high God. Okay? Also too, they concerned about you um not having faith in them. They're concerned about you not having faith in the connection with them anymore. 
It says, remove the doubts and the questions. You are ready to step into your blessings and claim what's already yours. This is what your person want to do. but And they're trying to have faith in it, but they're concerned because they know that you don't have faith in them. Because of this third party, this this Jezebel, this false person that they was over here dating and fucking around with behind your back, collector. Yeah, keeping the secrets. The secrets about this Jezebel, okay? The secrets as to the reason why they neglected the connection with you because they was fucking with this Jezebel, okay? Now they all confused and shit. They, they, they was confused or they gonna say that they was confused. They didn't know uh, uh, whether they wanted to be with you or wanted to be with them. Me, I say, if you make me an option, I'm gonna take myself out of the equation. I'll be motherfucking damned if I'm going to sit here and be chosen by a mere mortal. And I'm already chosen by the one true most high God. I'll be damned. Child. So, since they're concerned about reuniting, and coming together with you. Okay? They concerned about you having faith within them for them to come back. Why? Why are they concerned then? Since this is the concern, why? Why are they concerned about reuniting and coming back towards the collective? Because you can't go for that. You can't go for that bullshit. Like I said, you will not be an option. Okay? And now your person feelings is all on the flow. Because they know this. This is why they're concerned about you having faith in them. Having faith in the connection. They know They know you don't. They know you shaky about that. Okay? They know they fucked this up. This is why they're concerned about it. But they still not letting you go, collector. Your person not letting you go. Uh-uh. And this is a tragic ass love story. This love story is tragic because of the decisions that your person has made with a third party Jezebel. Your person do not want you to leave them behind. And I'm feeling the only reason why they don't want, to want you to leave them behind is because they see your blow up and your come up. I still get greedy off of this right here. What else can you tell me? What? Yeah, they're not letting you go. Uh-uh. They're not letting you go because they had it all wrong. They had it all wrong because now they see that you were the blessing from the Most High God. And they're trying to hold on to it. But it's like, shit, it's an ending here. You cool. You Gucci with this ending. Look, they ended things with you. You found peace and harmony within yourself. Let me get these out so I can show you. You found peace and harmony within, within yourself after your person ended things with you. You went on your all new adventure in life. And you walked away completely from your person. They ended things with, with you. You walked away from them. You didn't go chasing them. You didn't go begging them. Oh, please, 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 let's work it out. What can I do? How can I fix it? What, what did I do to break? No, you didn't do none of that shit. They walked away from you. You let them keep walking. And this is why they want to come back around to you because now they see that you're a blessing. Because why? It's your time to shine. I told you, this is a gold digger right here. This one, I don't trust this one right here. Because if it wasn't for you growing up and blowing up, and also, too, if it wasn't for them finding out the truth about this old funky-ass Jezebel, they'd still be over here with this funky-ass Jezebel and still ignoring you. Shit. Mm-mm. And now they're paying for it. Yep, they're paying for it. It's your time to shine. Now they're paying for it. Here go Archangel Gabriel. I, I told you. That throw chakra here, Archangel Gabriel was here. Telling the truth so they could speak the truth. They're so in love with you. This is the truth that they want to tell you. This is the truth your person want to tell you, okay? Because they know they fucked this up. Again, your per this person is kicking themselves in their ass and they know that they fucked this up. And guess what? The motherfucking third party still here. I told you I do not trust this one. No, because they thought they was winning with this third party. Why is this third party still here? Because they sitting in the misery and the mess they made. Okay? Why is this third party still here? And the third party is another motherfucking factor. This is for some of them. 
This is the reason why the third party is jealous of you. Because you they're not divine feminine. They're karmic. They're third party. That's why karma is here. So, you know. But anywho, let's see what's coming in between you and your person then. Since they all in their feelings and their feelings is all on the floor. What's coming in? What they got what they got to say? What what do the collective's person have to say to, to the collective? What do the collective's person have to say to the collective, Holy Spirit? Let's go. It hurts so much. Being away from you, collective, it hurts them so much. They don't even know what you see in them. They do not know why you even love them. And this love thing is so crazy to them. Because now they see that you are the blessing. They thought that this karmic, this third party, Jezebel, was the blessing. No, the Most High God and Gabriel revealed the truth to them. Revealed the truth. Told them the truth. About the whole situation between you and this third party. Told them the truth as the reason why karma is here. And it's just all too much for your person to handle. It's all too much for your person to handle. And their feelings is eating them up. It's eating them up because now they didn't know what was true. But until this truth was told to them. And now they know. And they're dying inside. They're dying inside. Okay? They was afraid to lose you. They was afraid to lose you, collective. Because they have abandonment issues wanting to know, are you going to leave them like the rest of them? And they was afraid to lose you. And they did because they know you deserve better. Whew. So, you know, your person, they know. They, they see the whole grand picture as to what happened, why it happened, and why things are the way they are. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's coming in for the collective in their person when it comes to love? Thank you. We have soulmate in the reverse. Okay, so it's it's making me feel like this is a, a detachment. Y'all not on the same level. Okay, y'all souls do not mate. Okay, you high vibing. You're a higher vibration than your person. Your person is going through the dark night of the soul, through that woe is me energy. Okay, because they have to find themselves. They have to find the truth about self. And it took you leaving or it took the ending of the connection with you for them to even uh, 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 even, even want to adhere to or see the things that they had to change within themselves. Okay, what else is coming in? Separation. See? It's a wrap. It's, it's no more. But separation and soulmate in the reverse, uh-uh. This ending feels permanent. It feels permanent. It do. You may have to leave a position or be terminated. You had to terminate this person after they left the position of being your divine counterpart, okay? Now they want to make the effort. They're trying to get their friends to help them. They want you to give this relationship a chance, okay? But it's not happening. This separation is here, okay? Codependency in the reverse. You let it go. Some of you guys, you could have been codependent on your person, wanting them to give you the feelings and the reciprocation of the love that you was giving them. Now it's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't need it. I'm out. I'm gone. Codependency and separation right here? Yeah. I don't need your love. I don't need your admiration. I don't need your affection. I don't need your attention. I don't need you. I'm out. I'm gone. I'm on a new journey and adventure in life. There's a new dawn to a new day. Okay? All right, collective. I'm going to leave it right here. This is what I have for you. I know these cards is a mess, but I know what every one of them is supposed to be. <laughs> okay? All right, baby. So this is what I have for you. Until next time, take care. Be safe. Namaste. Love you. Bye.